Please welcome to the stage, Mr. K.Y. Bird! <laughs> behaviors I noted throughout the day with your son. He did not finish his math subtraction quiz. He went to the pencil sharpener six times, slid on the floor near his desk, made silly noises at his desk, sat backwards on his chair, did not work on his classwork. Mrs. reported he crawled around on the floor for quite a while and sat under his desk talking out during a silent reading. He ran out of the classroom door shouting at the nurse only to return when he remembered he wasn't supposed to go for medication made Indian noises at his desk, dropped the right corner of his spelling book repeatedly to make noise, raised his hand, and shouted, me, 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 <laughs> to get an answer, removed from the line heading to library by another teacher who heard him saying, somebody is sucking on my weenie. <laughs> I hope this shows you what a day in Chris's 3A life is like. He definitely bothers the other students and distracts them from their daily learning. I do hope Aww. his behaviors improve soon. Sincerely, Mrs. <laughs> My mom lets me have a piece of candy for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I swallow and follow it with a glass of Nesquik. It's not so ordinary candy. This stuff is magical. It comes in an orange too. <laughs> Mommy calls it Adderall. <laughs> Sweet, but it makes me combat the symptoms of my ADHD. That's a tension stuff for hyper disorder. Diagnosed at five and a quarter, it's sort of like when I can't sit still in my desk in class and so I stare at the grass instead of doing the math. The distraction, distraction. I get called that more than my name. Teacher says something's wrong with my brain. Candyman agrees. Writes a golden ticket for mommy. For the Wonka's pharmacy. Pop that candy in your palm and eat. Like hocus pocus. I can focus. Can't go a day without my daily dosage. But, but this morning, mama left the candy in the cabinet. Concerned about what happens that I picked up from the magic. Like skipping lunch to school. Sleeping only half the night. Read the side effects. Insomnia, loss of appetite. So I'm sitting in my desk in class, not reading the task. Ventured off the beaten path, proceeded to ask, Mrs. G, can I please be excused? See, I don't feel as normal as I usually do. Do silent work like the rest of your classmates. My heart started pounding at a fast pace. Mrs. G, may I be dismissed? Tummy starting to twist, sweat trips, the dust flips, I'm desperate. Need, need, need the magic candy. Mom, please put me back on the treats. Give me more than one piece. Let the magic increase. Need peace in my mind. Pop like one, two, three at a time. Till I read every line without distractions. Do some traction with my fingertips. If I run out, just tie the rest to my wrist. Now do I blend in with the rest of these kids? When I was little, my mom was concerned with my acts of impulsiveness, how I would stare at the clock when she spoke to me. But when I grew and my doctor said that I should be medicated, I refused. You should see the protruding rib cage in my younger reflection, this hyperactive child whose neck rolled with every sentence. Young mind subdued, zombie produced, marching to the beat of the norm, brain tainted by chemical storms. I am not saying <laughs> that medication isn't helpful. But why is it that America thinks that a fucking pill can solve everything? <laughs> not every square peg fits in a round hole. See, Albert Einstein did not speak until he was three. Michael Jordan took his disorder and turned it into a gift and became legendary. So let me prescribe y'all with a fucking wake-up call. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween should be the only day where kids get candy for being something other than themselves. 